Huntersville is thinking globally and acting that way too. WFT's Jeremiah Thermidor has the story. Yeah, an overwhelming thought going over to China, but uh, I think that it'd really be pretty fantastic. It's 10th grader Will Keith is talking about his school beginning an exchange program with a high school in China. This Thursday, Oak Hall is sending four faculty members to China to share ideas about how a future exchange program can operate. Oak Hall headmaster Richard Geeman believes the partnership with China will be a great benefit to his students. This gives them an opportunity for some real face-to-face -face contact with people from another culture uh, and people from another important culture. Uh, certainly China uh, is going to be a player in the world in the future and our students and their students need to get to know each other because they're going to be the leaders when, when things are, 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 are moving along in the future. Robert Ponzio, an art teacher, thinks it's important to cross-promote culture between American and foreign students. Being that they're going to be leaders in a wide variety of fields, I want them to understand what the world is about. Uh, uh, I genuinely view this as a, dip, as a diplomatic mission that is going to benefit our country as well as their country. Robert Ponzio has brought Chinese culture into his classroom at Oak Hall School. In his drawing and painting course, Ponzio teaches calligraphy and other Asian art forms. Ponzio, who is also making the trip to China this week, has already taken the initiative to help his students understand the Chinese culture and language. Ponzio hopes a long-term relationship with students and teachers in China will pay for long-term benefits for his students at Oak Hall. Jeremiah Thermidor, WUFT News. The connection with China is the latest achievement in an ongoing effort to provide global education to Oak Hall students. The school hopes to start the exchange program sometime in the next two years. A suicide bomber in Iraq kills...